Welcome to Extreme Chunk PvP. In this series, Link and myself randomly selected two chunks for us to start in. We are not allowed to unlock more chunks until all available content in our last chunk is completed. We have four hours on the clock and we fight at the end of each episode. If you win, 15 minutes are rewarded to you for the next episode's progression. The winner is declared for whoever wins the last fight. These are on Jagex hosted worlds, so it's times 10 XP, double resources for skilling, and 5 times drop rates for rare items. Before we hop into the video, let's first talk about Raycon's Everyday Earbuds. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds come in at around half the price to other premium earbuds currently on the market. They look incredible, they sound amazing, and they come in this extremely compact design which makes them amazing for day-to-day -day activities. So it doesn't matter what you're doing, running, lifting weights, studying, watching YouTube videos, talking on the phone, they work perfectly for just about everything. There are different gel tips to choose from to make sure they fit your ears perfectly. They have a 32 hour battery life, eight hours of playtime, and have a built-in mic to make talking on the phone easy. And for all you RARG viewers, you can get 20% off your purchase if you go to buyraycon.com slash RARG. So you can click the link down below in the description to check them out for yourself, but in the meantime, we can pop one in the ear and see what they look like. Not bad, right? And there is even a 45 day return window, so trying them out is totally risk free. So once again, one last big thank you to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, and welcome to episode three. We have an extra 15 minutes on the clock. Absolutely buzzing that we got the last episode win there. I think this chunk is gonna really do us well and already has, and we still have lots of upgrades that we can still get. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick where we stand. Um, we don't have much money, so that rune weapon is gonna be quite hard to go for. We're still gonna go for the myth square shield, so that does mean we will be killing some trolls. Our gear is much better than when we left off last episode because we now have the Addy medium helm and we have the Addy short sword to kill the trolls. Um, the mackerel, I figured out how we get a mackerel. It turns out that trolls actually drop raw mackerel one in 64, it drops three of them. So trolls are going to be the move until we get the raw mackerel drop, which we shouldn't burn three with 19 cooking. You only need 10 and the mithril square shield, which would be a very nice upgrade and we can get rid of this thing. So we're going to start that timer, buy some food and head on over to the trolls and probably get like 55 attack strength and then get 55 defense and just keep these pretty, pretty leveled out. So we're just over an hour in, not too much to show for myself in terms of drops, but... We are 55s across the board for melee and HP. We're going on to strength now. The kills are so much more of a breeze. It's still not the easiest thing in the world. This episode, we have 33 mountain trolls. So it's going a lot quicker, a lot more efficient. So hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. Hopefully we get a little bit lucky on that mithril square shield. Um, I'm surprised they haven't seen the mackerel yet though. But I mean, that is half the rarity of a mithril square. So even if we get the Mythos Square first, it hopefully shouldn't take too long. At least we are getting some XP in the process, but it's also not the best XP in the world. Hello, Bs and Gs. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, if you have missed any of the previous episodes, I'm sure there'll be a playlist up here and in the description as well. Click those and you get yourself caught up. Um, so you'll be able to know what's going on. Um, now that those people are gone, I lost again, but I do think we are putting ourselves in a really good stead. Uh, these are the stats right now. I think Yeskins has won two in a row. That's fine, though. You know, he, he's got Keldegrim. He had such an advantage with the actual gear that, you know, there was no chance I was winning that. But we are going to try and fix that today. Uh, on top of that, we have the superior food, and that is, you know, that's huge going forward. Um, so I'm going to kick off the episode with some Thieving of the Guards. Um, so we can get some money together and then I'm going to go down into Port Sarum um, and I'm going to go to the fishing shop and they sell sardines there. They've got like 500 in stock or 200 in stock. I can't remember. One of the two. Um, so plenty of stock and I'll just buy the shop out um, and then cook them all up and then come back here and start pickpocketing um, guards again over and over until we got enough money to get ourselves enough runes to then go ahead and cast Wind Blast, because that is the last thing we got to do in our chunks for them to be done. Um, if I get this up, yeah, the last thing we got to do is cast Wind Blast here. Um, other than that, we are completely done. Um, and then I think I'm going to move up into Varrock, because uh, we can get Addy Sword there. We can get some, like, uh, armor 
mithril to wear, stuff like that. So uh, I think that's the plan. That's probably what I'm going to do. So without further ado, let's start the episode and let's start pickpocketing. I don't know how um, much I'm going to get caught here. But as I say, we will be buying the sardines, so I've got pretty much unlimited food. It's just going to take a little bit of time to run back and forth, back and forth. But uh, this is way better money than the farmers is. Way, way better. Um, and I can get them as long as they stay here. We're good. This is the line here that I can't cross. So uh, it seems like they're going to behave themselves and be where we need them to be. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so it turns out pickpocketing guards, even at this level, was uh, incredibly good. 1.1k, I'm not going to have to buy any sardines. I mean, I, I might keep training, you know, thieving a little bit, because we could go to, like, RD Knights or something like that, but this is going to do us in terms of what we need, I reckon. Uh, let's buy two of these and one of those. So we're not going to be able to afford that. That's fine. I think this is probably going to be enough. We'll probably have to hit up the guards to... Um, What's it called? Get a death rune, because obviously I've got to buy a death rune as well. But I'm just going to go ahead. Uh, what do I want to kill? Uh, for now, I guess I'll just... Actually, is there guards? I think there's guards in there. But obviously we can't get in there. Um, I'll probably just kill seagulls to start with um, again, and we'll go from there. I might as well use these chaos runes as well. Get as much XP as possible. And yeah, we've got to go for 41 magic here. You know what? I'll go kill the guards. I'll go kill the guards. And here we go, guys. That is 41 magic. So we can now cast the wind blast. Boom. There we go. Let's stop the clock. We are done with this chunk or the chunks. Okay, guys. So I think if I open this one up, there's no new tasks yet. No new tasks to do. So we get this chunk completely free. Then I'm going to go down into the Lumbridge chunk so we can have a bank because I need access to something to go back and forth. I did want to go straight up here. But I, it's not really going to work without a bank. So I'm going to have to do this chunk first. Um, so as you can see, we've got a few things to do. Bake a chocolate cake, craft a strip of cloth, uh, fletch some yew logs. So we are going to have to do some uh, cutting here. But we do get access to Bob's shop and he does sell a better axe, which is nice. Uh, and obtain a training shield. So uh, a few things to get on with, but nothing too crazy. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be nice to have access to you know the bank, a spinning wheel, um, and a few other things like an altar. Uh, etc. So uh, yeah, let's go and do it. So I just thieved some guards so that we could uh, get ourselves enough money for a steel axe. Uh, we're going to chuck that on and I'm going to bank deposit everything. And I think I'm just going to get on with this uh, this wood cutting, um, you know, get the knife, which is just there. I think that is in our chunk, isn't it? I should probably start opening these up on this map as well. Uh, oh, we might. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, no, we can. Oh, no, we can't get out. We're not going to be able to get the knife from there. I think the Lumbridge shop sells knives. I hope so. Otherwise, we're going to be like killing a thief or something for them, or mugger, whatever he's called. Um, but yeah, we don't. Did I pick up a knife at all previously? I don't think so. No. Uh, okay, let's get the axe out and a little bit of cash as well. Boom. So I've been doing some theory crafting, and I'm actually in a massive pickle. So I assumed that Blast Furnace was a pretty viable option because it is on the whole chunk picker, the whole lock chunk. It shows that it's possible to do. But that assumes that you're in a world where the dwarves just do it for you. There's only one world here, and in that world, the dwarves do not do it for you. Now, I didn't expect that to be an issue at first. I kind of knew that. But in order to do that and to do it yourself you need 30 agility as well as 30 crafting and 30 strength i have the 30 strength but the other two i don't have access to and i can't get up at all crafting might be possible i don't think it is but i know for a fact agility isn't there is no possible way that i can do blast furnace on this account where i currently am so that leaves since there's no furnace i have to superheat which is incredibly troublesome. I have 14 gnats now. I've been selling my gnats because I didn't think I'd need them right now. And I thought the money was going to be way more important. Now, when we look at trolls, they drop nature runes 1 in 25. Um, and it's 7 of them. It's not that much. But also, it raises the question, how am I going to even get 43 magic to begin with? I'm one magic. There's no like real steady rune droppers here. Aside from maybe, maybe... The elementals down in the elemental workshop but they don't drop any mine runes it is a complete 
clusterfuck of a situation that I got myself into, and I'm about to die, and I don't really know how I'm gonna get out of it. So, I think this will- ooh, I should probably save that for magic, now that I mention that. So this is going to be the last trip of trolls for now. Of course, I'll have to come back here. Unless I want to get 58 smithing to then make the square shield. Yeah, no thanks. Um, it's bad enough as it is already. So after this trip, I'm probably going to head down to Camelot. Or Sears, I should say. And we're going to try to kill some fire elementals. Because they do drop gnats. And they do drop a bunch of different runes. So it looks like we can plow through these guys insanely fast. Which is really nice and reassuring. The last time I was here, I had an iron dagger. Because they have very similar stats to, to the air ones. Um, so I am killing the fire ones at first. Because I do want to fire staff. Ultimately, I want to kill the air ones. Because this spell right here, fire strike. It uses more fire runes. And I'm just figuring it's better to go for the one that, of course uses the more runes but we do have a lot of airs in the bank as well uh, or sorry a lot of fires or airs i don't even remember um i forgot which is which but in the long term it's still better to have a fire staff as well because we want it for the super heat and that is the main goal through all of this so these guys will sort us out hopefully for nats as well as elemental runes we got to go to men for the mine runes we have like 141 in the bank it's really not a lot i'm gonna be struggling here for sure but on the bright side, we are getting some XP. At least we're not going to slack in the XP department for our combats. Um, there is a furnace here. I do see that. I tried it on my main account. Ooh, gnats. Yes, there it is. The first gnat drop in groups of two. So this furnace you can only use, of course, when you start completing Elemental Workshop 1. Uh, one, I can't start that quest yet because I need 20 smithing. Uh, and two, you can only make Elemental Ore in that or sorry elemental bars in that furnace and elemental stuff it's pretty crap xp it uses four coal and you have to kill these earth uh earth elementals for the elemental ore again for coal it's just a mess it's an absolute mess i mean that might be how we have to resort to get our 50 smithing but i'm gonna try to stay away from that i also can't even do elemental workshop too because i need to go to the uh dig site for that i know gross so I can't capitalize on that XP you get. Of course, all quest XP, that is not multiplied by 10. Um, or that would pretty much get me close to the level just doing Elemental Workshop 1. So it's going to be a little bit of a, of a stressful time here. But again, we are getting XP. And I guess that's the only thing that really matters. And uh, yeah, we're just going to take it from there and roll with the punches. All right, guys, this is going to be 60 fletching coming in. Boom, there we go, um, which is awesome. It means we can now make those arrow shafts on the um, U-Log. So let's actually quickly finish these off. Uh, I'm just going to sell all of this back to the general store. I've just been running to the general store and back um, to do it. And we're going this way around because um, we can't run from those willow trees there. So that's why I'm walking this way. Um, yeah, just going to sell them. Made like just over 11K, which is nice as well. I can't remember if I've got any money in the bank or not. It's obviously been a few hours. It's just been sort of cutting trees, um, you know, so I haven't really seen what's been going down. One other thing we need to get as well is the training shield. So there we go. On top of that, I've also got to get myself some leather boots, which are down in the basement of the Lumbridge Castle. Then we've got to make a strip of cloth and bake a chocolate cake as well. And then we are done with this chunk, or at least we can move on to our next one, which is going to be this one up here um, so that we can push on over to Varrock. And here we go. Let's make them into arrow shafts. There we go. That is the task completed. I will save this U log. I might need it uh, for some reason. So uh, yeah, we'll stick with that. Let's uh, go and do all these tasks and get out of this chunk. Oh, I need 10 crafting. Oh no. Um, okay. All right. <sighs> Shit. I thought that as soon as I walked up to it, I was like, is this a level one thing? No. Okay. So we need to get 10 crafting together. Um, I don't know exactly how I'll do that. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to get the ingredients for a cake now because we've got to make a chocolate cake anyway. Um, and while I do that, I'll think about what I'm going to do for crafting. It might just be a case of doing balls of wool. Um, we will see. Okay, 10 achieved. Let's go ahead and make these strip of cloth. We only need one. Uh, but we do get 120 crafting XP, so I'll go ahead and make all of these. I've got some spare in the bank, balls of wool, so might as well. There we go, that's 12 crafting coming in. And then we're going to go and make this chocolate cake as well. We'll do that in Port Sarum. And then that is this chunk done, or these chunks done, uh, and we can move on to the next one. And I might be changing my decision, guys. We might be going down to Alcarid just because, uh, 
this chunk is a, is a little bit of a bastard to do, um, and I don't think I'll get it done in the hour 16 I've got. So I'm, I'm, I'm considering it. I'm considering it. So if we go ahead and cook... <laughs> Uh, I think I can buy all the ingredients. I think I can buy all the ingredients at the shop, but that's annoying. Um, you don't see a burnt cake very often, do you? I've, I don't know if I've ever seen that item model before. That's pretty pretty whack looking. That's, oh, what a mess. Yeah, what a mess. Okay, another attempt at it. Come on, there we go. And we will use that on there. And we have a chocolate cake. Unreal stuff. Let's stop the clock. And we are done. Okay, guys. I've sat and thought on this a little bit more. And I've actually decided not to go the Alcarid route and not go this route either. What we're going to do is we're going to fire up into Draenor. Um, and all we need to do is get a Iron Arrow, which should be pretty easy with all the chunks we've got. Um, and then I'm going to go up into Barbarian Village. It means we'll get the Addy Full Helm. Um... And it means that it's not actually as much of a grind as the uh, as this chunk would have been. Um, and the reason for this is then we can go right here. And I'll still have to cast Wind Wave. What is it? No. What, what? I can't remember what it is. Is it Wind Wave? The level 60 whatever spell with the Blood Rune. I will still have to cast it in here. But this time I'll have a bank rather than in this chunk. Look, I'd have no bank. So every time I ran out of food or ran out of money or whatever, I'd have to then walk back down here and go into like Lumbridge. Whereas it makes much more sense to just, uh, you know, be here, go to the bank, back and forth, killing the guards to get the blood rune. And also we have access to the um, cooking guild as well. And I do have that chef's hat, so I can go in there and buy, like, apple pies and stuff like that so that I have as much food as I want and I don't really need to worry about food. So I think this is a much better route into getting into Varrock. Does it mean I might not get it this episode? Possibly. Um, hindsight i probably shouldn't have unlocked lumbridge and i should have just gone straight up here and gone this way but it's the way it goes um you know it's not going to hurt me to have the levels that we got through uh this lumbridge chunk so drain let's get an ad uh, an addy arrow an iron arrow let's go and we get it first drop from the level 13 skeletons well skeleton zombies which i weren't re wasn't really killing before but uh yeah it was like a one in 12 or something so there we go um let's stop the clock actually and that is the Draenor chunk completed, which is lovely uh, to get that out of the way early. And we're going to go up into Barbarian Village now, um, wear Adam and Armor. So we will go ahead and buy the Addy Full Helm. we got to mine some coal as well. Um, obtain an Adamant Full Helm, obtain an Addy Med Helm. So I've got to buy both of those, which is a little bit annoying. And then obtain a Staff as well. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Timer back on. Let's go. And thank God that chunk took, like, no time because I've actually decided to bite the bullet here, guys, and we're going to go with this chunk instead um, of this chunk because I forgot we got the Stronghold of Security down there and the amount of tasks that has to get together is just mental. Like, it, you know, it, it's not worth it. The, the, the time to get that done would be so, so long. So we are going to go here. We are going to have to cast Wind Wave, uh, pickpocket a guard as well, which we have already done, but, you know, I haven't got it ticked off, so we do have to do it again. Um, obtain a black robe, obtain leather gloves, obtain a staff. So that's what we've got to do. So I'm actually using the Iron Scimitar because I'm not sure if it's going to be better than the Addy Battle Axe just because they have such low defense. Um, so that's why we're rocking this. Uh, but that's not the reason that I've stopped you here, guys. It's because uh, I did just have a quick chat with Kins and it turns out one of these are impossible. Um, let me just grab that, that. Um, yeah, it turns out one of these tasks is impossible. Uh, it's this one here, obtain the leather gloves. Now, the leather gloves are in the Shield of Arrow. You have to start or be mid Shield of Arrow to be able to get those leather gloves, uh, which are up in the top of that building. And obviously, there's no one else in this server um, other than me and Kins playing right now. So it would be, you know, impossible to do it. Kins would have to be my partner, which would mean he'd be, he'd have to help me out. It, it makes no sense. So I had a chat with him and he's like, yeah, no worries, mate. Don't worry about it. So we are going to check those off um as if we did them um but we still don't have anything else done i will just pickpocket a guard uh, we'll do it after killing this guy here just to get that one ticked off as well and then yeah i think my plan really is to just sort of like grind a load of runes here get as many runes together as possible um and then i'll go spend that like 11k i have as well um just to top up the runes and try and get as close to that that magic level as possible but yeah let's quickly uh, pickpocket this guard Thank you very much, mate. Okay, that is the task completed. 
And there's the fire staff. It did take 94 kills, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to run right over to the air elementals and continue our journey there now. The gnats, the chaos runes, and the death runes are all the same rarity. The only thing different about it is that it drops 15 air runes instead of fire runes, and it drops the air staff instead of the fire staff. Oh, this is hype. We can get chaos runes, nature runes, death runes. Don't give me feathers. Come on. What I get, what I get, what I get. Ah. Ah, not the best. So I know I'm very far off where I want to be in terms of runes, but I kind of want to get an idea of how many levels these runes will get me here. I did have more chaoses in the bank, so that number shot up there. Um, we're just going to keep using the best spell we can use until we get to 13, and we're not going to use any of the chaoses until we get to 35 magic, just to kind of maximize everything we're using here. Hopefully we can get through these levels really quick because I want to get the most XP possible i don't think i have many waters at all but i guess i don't need too many because that's going to get us to nine really fast and i am killing men and women for this only because the guys downstairs in the elemental workshop they actually have a magic level and magic level is pretty much magic defense and again i want to maximize my runes here um and these guys do drop mines they're the only mine droppers um, it's 1 in 64 and it's only nine of them it's not great and i'm splashing way more than i thought i was going to be honestly and i'm 14 magic why have i not switched there we go um i don't really care what staff i use now but um yeah we do have the fire staff to switch to when we're out of airs oh yeah that's what i want to see one shots let's maximize that xp oh now you drop an iron dagger fast okay i see how it is i think it was in the same spot in the same actual character npc in game as well Dude, I'm actually going to hit 40 magic with all these runes. I am dangerously low on everything right now. Um, wow. Okay. I might have... No, I have one more cast left, which if I switch staves, I should be able to get rid of it. And I'm out. I'm out. But we hit 40 magic. Now, it's going to be a little slower because I don't have any mines. And again, these guys don't drop mines. But, I mean, using any chaoses I get, as well as these death runes in one level's time... You know, it shouldn't be too bad, and that should get us to 43 relatively quickly. Right, so we only have about 20 minutes left this episode. I'm going to go for 43 magic, and whatever remaining XP I need, I'm actually going to use my gnats. It's not going to be too much, but I'm thinking about it. The trolls drop gnats pretty decently, commonly, and I need to kill a lot of trolls anyway. So it doesn't really seem to make much sense to me to be grinding out something that isn't really going to benefit me other than getting more gnats, which is the elementals down below in the workshop. And I don't think I'll really waste more than 10 nature runes. As long as this gets me to 41, which it will, I use these nine to get me close to 42 and then finish off 43 with low alking, probably just bones or something because there really isn't much I can alk here. And any drops from trolls, I'd rather just sell it to the respective shop so I can get the most amount of money for it because we do need that 41k for the rune longsword still. All right, so this is an extra air staff we had. I got these rune javelins actually from killing um, the elementals as well, which is a bit nutty, honestly. Um, and they do give a little bit of coins. Nothing crazy, but, you know, definitely worth picking up um wow look at that xp just fly up i do feel a little guilty doing this because i do need these but again i do have to kill trolls anyway and it seems like such a big time waste down there killing those elementals so i know i'm like cringing myself a little bit but this should speed up a lot of efficiency on the account um i probably sold about 30 nas to the store there is one of our items, the staff, which is actually pretty huge uh, because we didn't currently have any magic weapon at all. So pretty happy about that. Does this allow to auto cast? It does as well. Awesome. So that actually is a really, really nice upgrade. Uh, I've jumped back to the Addy Battle Axe. I don't know. It feels pretty similar. I don't think there's much difference between the Iron Scimitar. Just the speed on the Iron Scimitar is pretty nice. But we pretty much don't miss a hit with the Addy Battle Axe. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure between the two. Uh, and also, I've got them highlighted because I'm only killing the level 7s because I just want to fire through this as quickly as possible, um, which is why we've got a few highlighted and some not. Uh, also, going to go for 50 defense just because I want to get that up. Um, and then I'll try and work out a max hit, and we'll see if we can go for another max hit here. 
Oh, yes, P's and G's. The Blood Rune, the 1 in 1, 2, 8. Yes. Now, that doesn't actually check anything off, but it does mean we can cast Wind Wave when we need to. Yes. Oh, I'm buzzing for that. Absolutely buzzing. Um, we still need the Black Robe. That's what I'm waiting on. It's 1 in 42. I've killed 66. So we are dry on the um, Black Robe, but we are very, very quickly... On the, uh, on the blood rune, so I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh, no we're not. I just looked at the uh, the drop rate. It's 1 in 64 from the Dark Wizards for the blood rune. So we're actually, we were dry on both, technically. Uh, it was 1 in 128 from the guards, which is why that would have been quite annoying to do. Um, so, yeah, actually, a little bit dry, but uh, I'm sure we'll get this black robe very, very soon, and then we can, uh, then we can focus the last 45 minutes on trying to get this magic level up. Um, 261, I think it is. Just got some lore runes, which I think are 1 in 128. Um, and it's actually something I was thinking about. I never really spoke about the plan, but remember I got all those beads from the imps, guys? Um, and I was going to go to the wizard's tower. The problem with that is you have to then kill the lesser demon in the top of the wizard's tower. And he drops like a rune med helm and, and some other rare stuff, which is like 1 in 128. And there's three of them. There's three like drops you need to get from the lesser demon. And the only way to get them is through telegrab. So we could now unlock the uh, the Wizard's Tower, get my Amulet of Accuracy, and uh, and do the whole, like, Lesser Demon, get Rune stuff. Possibly. Do I want to do that right now? Definitely not. But in the future, maybe. If it's, like, proving really hard to get a necklace, then maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, but pretty nice to see those just passively come in. We are coming up to 100 kills here. And still no Black Robe. There we go. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Not only... Is that something we needed? It also does give us three magic attack and defense, which is lovely to see. Right, I'm going to home telly. And we're going to get our money out. We're going to get everything together. I'll hit up Port Sarum. We'll buy all the runes that we possibly can. I'll probably hit up the Mage Tutor as well to get some more airs and mines. I probably should have been doing that while I was fletching, to be honest. But oh well. Uh, and yes, that is the plan. We've got the staff as well. Oh yes, we're looking much better mage-wise. So I'm such a melon head, guys. I didn't even record my 43 magic clip. I thought I was. So I just missed the button, apparently. Um, but yeah, guys, we did get 43 magic. It was only like two more low alks from that last clip you guys saw. That's why that's so awkward. But uh, yeah, we got it. We got it. 43 magic. And we're just buying some stews now. And then we're probably going to head up to Trolls this episode uh, for the remaining 15 minutes. I mean, I'm not going to get much. But of course, I don't want to just stand here and do nothing. Uh, we'll also have to buy kebabs up there, so we probably really won't get a lot of kills at all. But this is the food for the fight. What the heck? Get the hit! That that's got to count. That's got to count. It didn't it didn't drop anything good anyway. All right, guys, finishing off the episode here. And um, what we got left? A minute left. We might get close to the magic level. Fifty three coming in. Um, I also know that I'm like three or four food short. Uh, because we ate a few last episode, but th there's no way I win. He destroyed me last episode with what he was in, and I haven't improved in terms of the actual melee gear. Um, I don't have protect from melee. I, there's no way I win this. Um, I will take the food, and I will take my gear with me just in case he had some massive mishap. I don't know, maybe he... Uh, Maybe he forgot food or he ran out of time for food or something. I don't know. So I will turn up in my gear, but I'm not going to go and get more potato and cheeses. I don't need to get them right now. There's there's no need. Um, you know, I, I don't think we're going to win at all. Um, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm very happy with where the account's going. I think we've done a lot of, like, skilling as well, which I don't know whether he has or not. But, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about what we got, like 53 thieving. I think that's going to be quite useful. This magic's going to be, we're going to have high alk soon, which is pretty cool. So I'm not too bothered about losing again. Um, that's not really too much of a of a problem at all because at the end of the day, it's all that matters is who wins that last episode. So yeah, right now, absolutely no problems. But yeah, as I say, we are going to lose this episode. I'm like 99% sure. Um, so same setup as last time. I guess slightly different. We've got the boots. We've got the shield now. Um, and I am going to bring a strength pot. I've got a meat pizza, which I made, and we've also got some cooked meat that I'll just have in the free inventory spot. Again, I'm probably not going to touch the strength pot, guys. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm losing this, so it is just a case of, like, if he's, like, messed up in some massive way, um, then we will go ahead and use him. Also, I don't really want to eat the meat pizza, so everything's going to be left untouched in the inventory, probably. Um, so, yeah, let's see what happens. 
I don't even think we completed a single task this episode, but that's okay. We made a lot of progress because we didn't have that furnace. Things kind of got twisted upside down. We didn't have a furnace, so we became the furnace. We did get that 43 magic. And in the process, we did get 62 attack, 63 strength, 60 defense, and even 43 magic, which is huge because if he tries to go magic... I'm going to be like, no, I got some magic defense now. I guess a lot of people might be thinking, hey, why I'm not trying to rush for the Rune Longsword? Because that's a really good upgrade. Um, ultimately, I want to be able to get out of Keldegrim as fast as possible. And if I rush the Longsword, even though it's a task, it probably would mean I'm in Keldegrim for longer. Because it would involve things like selling all those runes I got to the shop and not focus on my magic level. I could either cut and or wood cut and then cut those into bows that I can then sell to the shop to get money. Uh, but I'd rather do things a little bit more macro efficiently, like kill trolls, sell that loot to the general store, and make money as I'm doing other tasks. Because I want to leave Keldegrim. So Keldegrim has that train system. I can get to Varrock from it. I can get to White Wolf Mountain from it. Um, I guess you could technically do Dorgish Khan too, but I can't get there just yet, of course. But it's very maneuverable around the world of RuneScape, and it opens up a lot of content and a lot of other gear upgrades that I can then potentially chase. Hey, man, another four hours is up. How'd yeah. that one go for you? Uh, I'm not going to lie, dude. Um, uh, unless you've completely fucked up, I've definitely lost again. I'm not I'm not, I'm not. not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to waste everyone's time here. Um, Uh-oh. Yeah, unfortunately, with... So I think with free to play, which is obviously the area where I'm in, mm -hmm. it was a, it was very, it was obviously the first part of the game that was ever made when when it was made, like you know, in 2000 or whatever, 1999 originally. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's actually quite a lot of things that are like get 70 smithing, get 70 mining, get this this because obviously they had some high end content in there that, that, that's still in there to, today. Oh god, so, yeah. Unfortunately, to get anywhere meaningful, I actually have to grind quite a bit. So I've actually been. I'm not going to lie, dude. I think I'm going to be a lot of combat levels under you because most of mine was, was skilling. Right. Okay. Um, uh, so that's how my four hours went. I killed a lot of trolls this episode. Yeah, I thought you might. <laughs> I thought you might. Um, But I won't sugarcoat it either, dude. My gear is the exact same. All right. Um, Mine is very, very similar. I have now Willow Shield. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and uh, some leather boots. Okay. Oh, no. I, I, I just, I, I saw your combat level. I couldn't oh, help but you? to Ooh, look really? when you were Hello? mentioning it. So. 240. Okay, let yeah. me check you. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I pretty <laughs> so, much trained all episode. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I told the B's and G's, like, I'm bringing food and stuff, but I'm probably not going to eat any of it. Not going right. to lie, dude. Uh, hey, like, I, 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 I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's not worth it. He's got to have the potato with cheeses. Or potatoes I, with I, cheese. I, is probably I, I, I do, but I, yeah. I knew I wasn't going to win, so I didn't even bother replacing the ones <laughs> oh, I ate last the time. Meat. <laughs> yeah, the meat. Um, the cooked meat. Yeah, so so the only reason I brought this was like in case you had run out of time and you had no like food or something, then I'd right. be like, okay, you know, I would have been fuming with myself if you turned up and you're like, dude, I fucked up, you know. So I had to bring it, but I'm not going to touch any of this. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's All right. do it. Let's All do right. it. All right, man. Uh, you get the first hit because I have <laughs> ping. <laughs> I'm so depressed All every right. time I say that. I feel bad, you know. Two second warning, <laughs> mate. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Is he not gonna drink his strength? Tea? He's I'm not. It. I'm not. He's yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, dude. Even when I've been training, like, because I had to kill dark wizards to get that blood rune drop. Mm -hmm. Um. I was like mixing up with an iron scimitar because I think it might be better on low defense monsters than this. Yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised, honestly. Oh, yeah, dude, it might, I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> oh, all no. over the place. But I do feel like my progress is good in terms of like the skilling side and stuff. I do feel good about that. Yeah, um, and if your mining has to be high in your magic level, you, you can then probably maneuver on the map pretty fast. That's what I'm hoping. My my hope is that once I get rid of like a lot of these things, I can then like I can go and I can go and just sort of like freely move around the map, you know. Yeah. But then the problem the problem with the chugs also are it's like 
there's a zombie in your chunk and it drops a you know iron chain body one in 300 it's like fuck's sake <laughs> well it will only do that if it's if it's your if that would be your best in slot that's true so they should so get easier they, yeah yeah they definitely will get easier and then mm -hmm. for the things that are actually worth grinding for it might be a rune chain body one in 300 well there you go another yep. 15 minutes extra for you mate oh man's just <laughs> yeah. pulling, pulling just minutes on me now 45 what? now we got wow oh. they're, they're, they're oh, gonna really dear. start stacking up man like i can't let you get an hour ahead that's bad that is bad we'll see you guys in the next one we'll link pull it back